So, um, kind of a weird one today, but uh, I purchased a clone. It was kind of a Christmas gift to myself. And it's Desir Toxic by McCallum. I've heard so many great things about this scent. Desir Toxic from Mikalef has all the right ingredients to make it a sexy, mass appealing fragrance. It's spicy, it's sweet, it's fresh but there is an edge here. Along with that sexy cardamom, the sweet tonka bean, that juicy black currant, you have a lot of oak moss and cannabis that actually gives this fragrance its alluring edge. And so I decided, like this is a scent that I've been wanting for a while, and it's kind of pricey. Now, the thing about my fragrance collection is I really don't go over like 50, 60 bucks. I have one Comme des Garçons, two, which was like the most expensive I ever bought. And I rarely use that because it was expensive and I don't want to run out of it. But I do want to expand my collection. It's, this is something that I'm growing. It's something that I'm learning. It's a field that I'm trying to get into. So this is really kind of a hidden gem, I think in the perfume community. I have a fairly big perfume collection and to be honest once you have a collection that big you are not getting surprised that much anymore from new perfumes. Most perfumes out there kind of smell familiar and you know they're not that exciting anymore. And that's why I'm so happy that I encountered this perfume here. It's called Desia Toxic. Something new, something exciting, it smells so different, so unique. It's like fruity, smoky, herbal cream notes, everything included. Something new actually, something excited. So if you're interested in this, I would recommend you to check out my website over there. You can find the full review. So I purchased it online. It was a pretty good deal. I got it for $114, which retails about 250, something like that. You can get on Max Aroma for 250. I'm not going to spend that much money on a scent, but I have to go drive to a perfume warehouse today to go pick this thing up because I don't want it to get, I want to go pick it up. So it's kind of like this adventure that's tied into it. It's doing something out of the norm and actually getting to like, I don't know, like go enjoy stuff. So uh, I'm kind of a weird one, but I hope, I hope you stay for the ride. It'd be cool. Okay, so we're here. Look, it's right there. See? It's right, right there. Let's go check it out. So I got it. I, I, I've been working all day and I've, I, I had this whole plan that I was going to smell it with my friend at work and we were just going to be like, oh, this smells so good. And then we'll get that initial reaction that way. But we were so busy today, I just didn't get a chance to. So I still haven't smelled this. But this is the final packaging. I'm sure I'll do some B-roll, so it'll be pretty unnecessary, but it is very nice. An absolutely incredible box. It's the best box I've ever gotten. It's got this plastic sleeve. It came in this black plastic sleeve. 
which I think is, I don't know why I think that's cool. Like, that must be, that might be a cheap thing to do, but I think it's, all right, so here's the grand reveal. Look how nice that is. It's perfectly situated in this, in this styrofoam and it's like hefty. It's really stuck in there. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that, but it's really, it really is stuck in there. Like it's going to, it's going to take some hump to, for me to actually get it out. Look at that. Look how, look at that. That's really, I'm pulling, bro. I'm actually <laughs> okay. It's out. It's out. <laughs> Look at this bottle, bro. Look at the bottom. Here's the bottom. Let's do a bottom shot so you can actually see. I actually paid for this. The real thing. This bottle is hands down one of my favorites. People always do this. They do this. Let me show that the little side piece. <laughs> Right there. I'm really excited to see the initial response to this. It's it's very rare for me to spend this much money on on necessarily just a bottle, bro. But all right. So before we we spray this, let's actually let's actually get to know this fragrance more. So I've looked it up on their website. So, this is what it says. This intriguing eau de parfum deploys on male and female skins alike an addictive abundance of sensual raw materials, among which stands out cannabis, a rare ingredient in perfumery. You said, you heard it, folks? It's a unisex fragrance. It's a woody, spicy, that's the olfactory family. That's the family of scent that it's in. The top notes is bergamot and cardamom. Middle is cinnamon, blackcurrant, cannabis, and tonka bean. Base is moss, benzoin, musk, and patchouli. I think this is going to be a phenomenal scent. Just the, just the videos that I've seen, I've never been more intrigued in a scent. If you have game and you pull like a f***ing menace, where does your talk sick by M. McAleff? Because the only reason this was created was to get people super horny. And it's very, very sexy. When you, when you get like an Aventus breakdown or something like that, they're like, oh, it smells like, it smells like pineapple on a grill. But, but this, this is, this has cannabis and cinnamon in it. So yes, I am very excited to spray this. Let's let's give it a few whiffs. I'm I'm going straight for the skin. I'm not doing a test or nothing. Let's let's just do it. I'm gonna break the atomizer. You're about to see it. All right, let's do it. Let's get the. Ooh, that's a good atomizer. Mmm, starts off very, very green. Almost soapy. A little, little bit. Mmm. Very delicious. I'm actually amazed about how green this opening is. When you hear like the node breakdown, I'm thinking like just dark bro a lot of people relate this scent to Leighton problems to Marley Leighton so I'm amazed about how green this is but it is very nice it smells expensive and it was expensive I'm not going to lie to you it's it smells expensive and they, they nailed it on that. I can smell a little bit of the cannabis. It's a 
a little, it's, a, it's at that very tail end. I think well, if you smelled this, you can, if you were, if you were smelling this alongside me, you'd say the same thing, it's at the very tail end. The longer it goes, it gets a little bit darker. Okay, so I'm going to spray this too on the neck. And then, yeah, that seems good. I'm gonna give this a full wear and I will see what the dry down is. You know, just give this a little ride for a little bit. And I'll be back in a little bit to tell you what I think about this, what the full, full thing is. All right, so I have given this a, a pretty good wearing. I've, it's been, you know, it's been on my skin, and I'm going to do the dry down as we speak. This is fantastic. I don't think anybody that would spray this would think this was not a wonderful scent. It smells luxurious. And the more the dry down goes through and you whip through the base. Ethyl maltol whipping through the base. It's the more you kind of attach yourself to it. I haven't created any memories with this fragrance or really worn it out yet. I just, I just sprayed this a few hours ago, but I'm really excited about this. I'm, I was pretty sure this was going to be a very like heavy fragrance and it's not, it's incredibly fresh. I could, could see this being a signature scent for somebody. It smells like Christmas. You're getting this combination of warm and clean. And when my wife first smelled this on me, she initially thought I smelled like a Christmas candle, which I can kind of see what she's talking about. It's, <laughs> it's so green. It smells like a Christmas tree with the cinnamon in it. It's, I don't know how to explain it any better than that. This is intoxicating. And I just, this is, it's such a great fragrance. I don't think anybody has been like, this is my favorite fragrance in my collection. And I can see that because it's, it doesn't do really anything too, it doesn't do anything too, but it's beautiful. It's something that you could wear this and people, I, I'm going to wear this tomorrow, like out. And I'm guaranteed this is going to be a compliment getter. Guaranteed. I can't wait for to wear this around. I, I'm definitely going to go, I'm definitely going to be using, like spray, spraying this. This is something that is really, Nice to wear. Um, I don't know how you get decants of this. I have no idea how you would sample this. Is it blind by? Is it blind by worthy? I think so. I really do because it's not really. There's nothing really in it that's inoffensive. But women, it says they said that this was a unisex fragrance. No, bro. No way, bro. This is manly. This is lumberjack cutting down a Christmas tree in a bottle, bro. Like, there's no other way to say it. It's, <laughs> it's, that's exactly what it is. It's, it's the brawny man bringing in the tree so his wife can put the the lights on the Christmas tree. That's what this is, bro. Like, it's authoritative and it's manly and it's, and I can see why they call it this. I can, it's, it's a, it's a strong name, but it's very, this is a heartbreaker fragrance. All right, let's throw some 
Let me show you my Christmas tree now. 